everybody, my name's Rosie and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. How are you all? I hope you're all doing really, really well. So today we've got a little bit of a mix matched haul. Um, I just got a couple of bits from a couple of different places and I thought I'd just bung them all into one haul. Um, so I went to Superdrug, got some bits there. I went to TK Maxx, got some bits there. And also I bought a couple of bits on TikTok shop. So I just thought I'd share it all with you. If you are new here, I do have two little pugs. You'll forever hear them snoring and grunting it's so hot in the UK as you will probably know or if you're not even from the UK you probably have heard us all moaning about it enough um, yeah and the poor pigs are absolutely roasting um, as you can see I'm literally just so hot that I'm just in a body I've got nothing on under like nothing on the bottom half I'm just sat in a bodysuit no different to like a swimmer costume is it um, so yeah that is the current situ. But anyway, uh, if you haven't done so already, please do hit that subscribe button. Always means absolute world. Pop that notification bell on. Give us a thumbs up. You know what to do. All that good stuff. My camera battery is flicking already. So uh, I'll go and change that. And then we'll get into the haul. Okay, I'm going to start with TK Maxx. Because it's not really beauty stuff. And I only got a couple of bits there. So we'll just get that one out of the way first. So... Beauty wise, I did get two more packs of the Ardell eyelashes. I seem to pick these up every time I go in there now. Now, I haven't worn lashes for a little while just because, you know, it's too hot. They'll just sweat off my face. But these ones are lovely. I got two different types this time. So I got just the normal wispies, is which I normally pick up. Beautiful lashes if you haven't tried them. And then I went for the false, false mink ones. False mink. Uh, which I've never tried those ones before, but I thought they looked really pretty. Very similar to the other ones, but I think just a little bit more fluttery. They're $3.99 each, which I think for a pair of lashes is really good. And these lashes are really nice. And if you haven't heard me going on about it already, I'm going on holiday in about three weeks time I think it is and I will be wearing lashes when I'm away so like in the evenings and stuff when I go out um so I thought it'd be handy to stock up to have them but I always like to have a little bit of a backup of lashes anyway to me it's the worst thing if someone says a oh, last minute do you want to go out for some drinks or and I haven't got any lashes so yeah always like to keep stocked up okay then I got a hat because again I'm going on holiday now this is just a this is a brand that I would never normally buy from, but I just wanted a plain black cap. So this is by L, and I just like like it. It's plain black. Oh, it goes with my look today, actually. So yeah, plain black, just with L written on it, which I thought was quite cute. Now this was $9.99, which I think for a cap isn't bad. These are great to have on holiday. I'll be wearing this on the plane um, and yeah, like around the pool and stuff if I just want to keep my head a little bit shielded. I just thought this would come in real handy and actually I quite like, I think I could pull it off. But like, I think this, yeah, I think this is all right. I don't mind it. I mean, I don't want to blow my own trumpet. I do think I'm the type of person that pulls off hats quite well, but I never really wear them. Maybe I should wear them more. So yeah, anyway, that's that. And then the last three items that I got from TK Maxx is their jewellery. I think people sometimes sleep on TK Maxx jewellery and potentially forget to like check it out because I don't see that many people talking about it. But I really love their jewellery. Um, yeah, I've got I've bought some jewellery from TK Maxx before. It's always really affordable, always good quality. So I think these ones are my favourite. So it comes in this little box, which is super cute. And these were $6.99. And these hoops to me. So this is by House House of Harlow 1960. Look at these hoops. I'm legit obsessed with these. I think they are stunning for $6.99. I absolutely love them. And also, what a great little gift as well. Like, if you're a little bit strapped for cash, that's going to look like you've spent so much more than £7. I just love them. So, all three pairs of earrings are from the same brand, and they were all £6.99. So, this is the next pair. And they're just little gold hoops, really similar to what I've got in today, but smaller. And that's why I was drawn towards them, because I wear these all the time, and I love them. Um, so, I thought it'd be nice to have a smaller pair. These ones that I've got on are from Ana Luisa. 
Um, so yeah, I thought it'd be nice to have a smaller pair. And eventually I would like to get my second holes pierced. Um, so I thought that would look cute, like both those pairs. And then the last pair, again, $6.99 from the same brand, are these. And again, I just think they're so cute. Come on, you would pay a similar price. I don't know, maybe like from ASOS or like not Primark, but you know what I mean, like seven pounds. River Island, you pay more than that sort of for their costume jewelry. So yeah, I'm so happy with those. I think they're lovely. Okay, let's move on to Superdrug. So I popped in for a eyebrow pencil and I bought a couple of bits. Not, I didn't go crazy, but I bought a few bits. A couple of necessities. Oh, first of all, actually, this is from Tesco's. Um, I just put this in here because I wanted to tell you guys about it. So this is a double W7, very vegan, uh, perfectly matte concealer, anti-crease. I have nearly finished one of these, and you get a lot of uh, concealer in here for a concealer. You get 14 mil. Um, this is like 3 dollars I think, and it is such a good concealer. I would say it's almost a dupe for the Too Faced born this way concealer which i absolutely adore that concealer it is my favorite um i would say this is a close second to that i think it's really similar in texture and coverage in longevity um so yeah i wanted to mention that i'm sure you can get it in other places w7 than just tesco the shade range is t absolutely horrendous i think they've got like four or five shades um but yeah i got this in does it tell me ivory and yeah it's just such a good concealer that i wanted to mention that but I didn't actually get that from Superdrug. Okay, okay. I picked up some Duo Lash Glue. This green one is so great. I've been using it for a few years now. And it lasts for ages. But I've completely lost my one. I don't know what I've done. I probably took it on a night out. And it probably dropped out of my bag or something. Uh, it comes out white. But it goes to clear. But what I love about it. It's got a really nice brush on it. This stuff. Ugh, you don't have to piss about trying to get them in place. You let it go tacky. So leave it like for 10 seconds. Let it go tacky. Once you place that shit down. It's not going anywhere. You could sleep in your lashes. They'll still be attached the next morning. I love this stuff. I love the applicator for it. It's the green one. The one in green right in. It's so good. I've tried the other duo glues. This is my favourite one. Um, so yeah, I got that. I then got some uh, sheer butter body scrub. Exfoliating with almond scrub for smoother skin. Now, again, if you've been here before, you guys know I love things like this. That smells so good. It's giving me holiday pina colada vibes. Not the coconut, but you know, like the milkiness of a pina colada. Oh, it's so good. So it's like a white creamy paste and it has like the little natural beads in there. They're not beads. I always make that mistake of saying that. It's not. It's um, almond particles and it just helps exfoliate skin. Really great to use, but I'm a fake tanner, as you guys know, and I find it really, really nice for that. Um, really preps your skin nicely before you do fake tan, but also helps get rid of old fake tan as well. I picked up this one, because I normally get mine from Primes. I picked up this one because it was on a good offer. It was 2 99 so cheaper than the Primark one. Um, and you get, it looks like a similar size to me. Yeah, 465 mil, which is similar size to the Primark one. So that's why I grabbed one of those. And the Duo Glue isn't on here. The duo glue isn't on here, so clearly I got that for free. It's not on here. Weird. But I think the duo glue was about £6. Um, you can get it other places for like 5 but I just needed it, so I got it for 6 They used to do it in Primark for 5 but they didn't have it in Primark when I last went. Okay, next up I just picked up some of their face wipes. Really handy to have. Mentioned it before. I don't only use them on myself, but I use them on the pugs, nose wrinkles and their ears. Uh, the wipes are a pound, um, which you get 25 wipes. So not too bad. They're uh, biodegradable cleaning face wipes for sensitive skin. And like I said, just really handy to have. I then picked up a Dove deodorant. You guys are probably so bored of me talking about Dove deodorant. So it's in passion fruit and lemongrass. I've been using this one recently. It smells really, really nice. I really like it so I picked up another one of those I actually went to in Superdrug that dove was £4.80 but it was on an offer so like some money's come off of like £2.72 and that one was definitely on an offer so I, I don't know yeah it was like £2.50 
something. Um, but then I went into Boots and it was even cheaper in there. So I did pick up another one from Boots. Okay, then in Revlon, I think they're getting rid of Revlon, aren't they? Um, and they had this colour stay satin ink Revlon uh, liquid lip. It was four pounds, but it was actually down to two pounds. They had everything reduced that day down to two pounds and they hadn't changed all the stickers yet. It is sealed, I double checked. Sorry guys, my memory card got full. Um, so <laughs> I've moved again, that's why. So yeah, it's a real nice chocolatey brown colour. They only had these colours left, um, but it is a real, like, looks really nice and glossy. I don't know what the longevity will be like. Obviously I can't try it on because I'm wearing red today. Um, but I thought for two quid, it looked like a real nice colour. I do love a deep brown. It's the only colour they had left. Um, and yeah, I just thought it looked really nice. So for two quid, happy to try it. Then I picked up two of the MUA brow definer pencils. I was desperate for a new pencil. I love the Primark ones, they're two quid. And I was completely out of them. But I've tried this one before as well. It's so good and it's three, yeah, three pounds. So a pound more. Um, and yeah, it's a micro precision eyebrow pencil. Um, I got it in brown um, and yeah. They're really, really good. If you're looking for a good, affordable eyebrow pencil, if you can't get to Primark, I would recommend the MUA ones. They're really good. And then I also wanted to share this with you. I got this from Boots, and it was in their clearance. I love rushing over to Boots' clearances. Whatever Boots I go into, I just try and find their clearance section. Sometimes they're really shit, and there's absolutely nothing on there. But every now and then, you find some real goodies. Like before, I found a lot of um, Pixie skincare stuff in there for really cheap um so yeah always definitely worth looking at those but this is a soap and glory cloud of dreams whipped night cream i needed a new night cream i'm out of my night cream i was recently using the bondi sands night cream they sent me absolutely love it finished it i was hoping to grab that in boots because i know that they do stock it but they didn't have it in the boots that i went to so i just thought i'd grab this one never tried it before and as it was on an offer for five pounds in their clearance section um i thought i'd give it a go it says for normal or dry skin i didn't see that which i don't have dry skin um but still it doesn't matter oh it's got one of these pumps love that love the packaging Mine's broken. Maybe that's why. <laughs> Maybe that's why it was in the clearance. Yeah, mine's completely fucked. Okay, it smells really nice. It's sunk into my skin nicely. <laughs> but the packaging's broken. Which is probably why it was in the clearance. Although they had more than one in the clearance. So I think I've just been unlucky and picked up a shit one. Oh, there we go. If I hold it upside down, it comes out. So that's fine. All fixed. That's the sort of consistency. Really nice and thick. feels really nice actually really hydrating which you think it would be for a night cream and a little goes a long way that I've just literally covered my whole arm in that one pump so yeah excited to give it a go uh, now I've fixed the packaging I'm fine about that so let's move on finally to TikTok shop. Everyone's been loving TikTok shop, haven't they? I've got a little bit of an addiction for looking at the TikTok shops. You know, when people are live and they're selling stuff, it's a little bit like QVC, isn't it, on TikTok? I love looking at those. But anyway, I just got a couple of stuff, which I don't think it's going to be overly exciting because you guys have probably seen it everywhere, maybe even bought it yourself. But made by Mitchell and be perfect on tiktok shop you can get some real bargains i saw on tiktok shop the other day so keep an eye out i don't know if it's still on there um but the be perfect highlighters i've already got one and the only color of one that i would use so i didn't get it but they're normally 14.99 and on tiktok shop they had them for three quid so it's crazy um everything that i've received like you can tell is genuine because it comes in the genuine packaging is out of bag like i've used it for something else so i don't have 
the packaging of it. It's out of bag was all of his branded stuff. Um, yeah, I think it's fantastic. So I got loads of made by Mitchell stuff. Um, so I'll tell you about that. And then I got something from Be Perfect as well. I went for the Mango Daiquiri blush. I have got one of his liquid blushes, but not in this colour. Um, I've had a little play of it already. I got this for three pounds, free postage for three pounds. I've been eyeing up this colour for ages. I thought it looked beautiful. It's a real orange blush and I love orange. Next to that brown, it doesn't look that nice, does it? <laughs> but it is really, really beautiful. So I was really happy to get that for three quid. Absolutely buzzing with that. Next up, I got the multi-pack of the blush lights collection so you've got six in that collection and it was 17.99 yeah obviously they're called blush and not blush <laughs> blush lights so i got a pack of the seven six one two three four five. yeah the six blush lights pack that he had for 17.99 this is worth like 90 odd quid or 100 cent quid i can't remember now um but yeah they are i can't remember how much they are alone but a little bit under 17 quid. So you're getting a real amazing deal. Um, I'll quickly show you. I'm sure you guys have probably seen these on other people's um, unboxings. Because I know people have been going crazy for this. But the first one is Copper Cool. That's what it looks like in the packaging. Beautiful bronze. That's what it looks like there. Absolutely stunning really really beautiful the only thing i would say about about these blush lights because i have experimented with them and tried to use them on other people they look amazing whereas when i've used them i think i'm doing it wrong i almost lose the color and i'm left with the glitter like patches of like the silvery glitter that's in the background um so i think i'm doing something wrong I'm not sure what that's about. The next one is called Penny from Heaven, but I've only tried to use it twice. This one I use sort of like as a liquid bronzer, like almost. Um, what was it the other one? You could mix them together as well. But yeah, if you, I like a glowy bronze and a glowy blush. I like my whole face to be like metal. Um, so I did just put a little bit with my cream blush and worked it in and it looked beautiful. But obviously you can use that as a highlight as well um, or on your eyes. But I thought that colour stunning. Then this is a blush that I absolutely love. It's called Candy Trip. I think it's stunning. Um, but when I, like I said, when I tried to put it on my cheeks, I sort of lost the pink in it and was left with the silver glitter that's like in the background of it. So I don't know what I was doing wrong. Um, but it's really beautiful. Really stunning. And... Um, a girl that I know, I used to go to college with her, um, her name's Natalie, she does like beauty treatments and stuff. Her TikTok is fantastic, um, I'll link it down below and she did a nice video of this and it looked amazing on her, on her face but then I couldn't get it to be the same on my face so I think it's the way that I'm applying it um, but I don't know what the best way to use it is because I even just tried it with my fingers and I had the same result so yeah I need to play around more next one is champagne spray stunning stunning color it's like a peachy bronze color it's so pretty what a gorgeous highlight you could probably like dab these onto your lips as well Right, that is so nice use them on your eyes all that stuff oh i'm so hot okay next up is drip drip this one i don't know what i'm gonna do with because I, I mean again you could definitely use it on your eyes um i'm not much of a silver silver girl but it is beautiful look it's different to the other ones it's like a real um like almost like you can see the glitter in it look at that absolutely beautiful I just don't know where I'd use it. But yeah, really beautiful. It's honestly, I don't think the camera will be doing it justice either. Like in real life, it's so sparkly. And then the last one of those is Nova Nights. Here's what that looks like. So again, like another bronzy, shimmery colour. We'll just do that probably in the worst place. Yeah, absolutely the worst place. Let me re-swatch that. So I've just done it here really pretty they are beautiful for the price as well like i'm absolutely buzzed to have those for so cheap 
really lovely and then also from Made in Mitchell he had another bundle of his blush bronzers um, and I just was in an iron for a while but again for £17 for six of them I just thought I can't I can't let that pass because I've also seen people using them on their lips and they looked so nice now I know I've got a ready lip on today but I love a nude lip like I'm usually in a nude lip so people have been using them on their lips and it looks lovely as well as bronzing on their face and of course on your eyes as well so I thought I've got to try them so the first one I'm picking up and it's not in no particular order guys I'm just picking them up as I go is toned up I'm literally covered <laughs> I'm getting so messy <laughs> um so this is toned up they just feel so nice and creamy i haven't used these yet i literally only just got them yesterday the, yeah i think it was yesterday or, or saturday it's monday today um so that's toned up next up is creme carve i think that's how you say it creme carve how nice would that be on your lips as well as on your skin that would be a really nice color for like when i'm pale for like just bronzing up my face a little bit really nice next one is caramel chisel again this one would be a good color for me like when i'm more tanned but also on my lips as well i mean obviously i haven't tried them on the lips so i don't actually know what they're like like how comfortable or what the longevity or anything like that but i've just seen other people using them on their lips and they looked lovely next up we've got blend and snatch what a name this one's really dark so i don't know how much use i'll get out of this one um look at that that is just like dark chocolate absolutely stunning so obviously for those deeper skinned girls that'll be lovely for them um but yeah i'm not sure i'm not sure uh how i'd use that one then we've got hollow there hollow there this is a really light one this is one that i've seen a lot of people having their nude lipstick and then putting it in the center um almost like their old concealer hack because it's that really light sort of i'd say gray toned i'm really shit with tones but i definitely say that's like a gray tone one and then this last one is called shady business And that's so nice again that would be lovely on the lips so that's all six of those so you can see the difference like the tones the different variations of shades the depths it's quite nice isn't it um and if you can just use them on more than just your face and i think they'll come in real handy so um, i haven't used them i'll tell you what i'm not great with cream products i'm not gonna lie i am very much a i use a lot of powder um yeah like i prefer powder bronzers blushes highlighters but i still wanted to give these a try it doesn't mean that you can't be converted and this is how you find things that are your favorite so yeah really happy with all of those look how pretty all of that is and then the last thing i got from tiktok shop was from be perfect and it's their chroma cover matte foundation i've been wanting to try this foundation for ages um, and they had it for eight pound on tiktok shop is it like normally 20 quid let me have a look yeah it's normally 19.95 so 20 quid um and i got it for eight pound because i've been wanting to try it and 20 pounds isn't bad for a foundation if a foundation is good i'd pay it but i don't know if it's good because i haven't used it so if i could get it for eight pounds to try it then brilliant the packaging is so pretty i'm sure you've all seen it before opens up like this and the and the bottle just throwing it the bottle is so luxe nice glass bottle looks really nice i think so i actually went for this in the shade n5 i was unsure about the shades um so i just like had a little google about and actually i'm quite happy with my pick um obviously i'm different colors all the time because i tan a lot um but obviously it's nice to have the right color but it doesn't really bother me if why isn't it pumping out i've seen other people have an ag with a pump you know 
Big Perfect needs to work on that. It's all very good at looking nice, but we want the pump to work. I've seen loads of people have an ag with the pump. Um, yeah, if I don't get the right colour, it's not the end of the world because I lighten or deepen up with uh, concealers and stuff. Yeah, that's absolutely not working. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, I think that's going to be a really good colour for me. Because, like I said, I always like have different tans on and stuff. So annoying that pump's not working. So anyway, that's the colour. Yeah, I think that's going to be good. It's very nice and thick. Sort of con um, foundation I like, honestly. Oh, I'm really pleased with that colour. I think it looks really nice. So next time I do my makeup, I'm definitely going to try that out. I just didn't want to open it up before sharing it with you guys. Just uh, luckily I've got these wipes nearby so I can wipe myself down. And I'll be absolutely covered in glitter now because these glitters from these blushes they don't they stay they hang around okay everybody that is absolutely everything <laughs> look how shiny my hand is i don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up so shiny that is absolutely everything that i got i'd love to hear your thoughts and if you've got any recommendations for me for tiktok shop please let me know please let me know um either comment down below or if you see anything or you can always dm me on instagram um my instagram again is I'll link it all down below if you want to go and check me out over there, which I think you should anyway. Like, come and hang out with me over there. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I really, really, really appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye!